This is the Poco X3 NFC. Welcome everyone, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. And today I'm gonna to run through 10 key points about this, why this budget 200 pound phone, which is my own, is actually a flagship killer in 10 different ways. I am gonna go through a few of the negatives or not so hot things about this. So there will be some perspective at all times. But this, I'll just um, start this by saying this is the first budget 200 pound phone that you're buying and actually you're gonna feel really good that you bought this. I'm also gonna do a separate video where I'm gonna tell you how you can remove all ads on this phone. And it's quite easy to do, it takes about 10, 15 minutes. But that'll be a separate video which will come a day after this one. Anyway, let's check this out in a bit more depth. I'm gonna go through the 10 key things why this Poco X3 NFC is unbelievable. It has blown me away. So the first thing before we even get to the phone itself is you get this nice TPU cover. But what's really neat about it, it actually has here, it actually has a protective thing for the port. So that helps keep water out. You get a 30, a uh, three watt fast charger in the box. This thing charges really fast. So that then brings me onto the battery life. This is a beast of a phone when it comes to battery life. So if I quickly open up here, uh, I go to albums, go to all. I just want to show you. So here, um, this was when it says 50% battery and I have five hours and four minutes of actual um, screen on time. This came off charge at 5 a.m. and we're practically, this was at 10 p.m. on the same day. Phenomenal, phenomenal um, strength of battery. And I've used this quite heavily, so for most people, you would get the two hours, uh, sorry, two days usage on this no problem at all so that works really well the screen is not bad at all it looks nice um, it's easy to use and I do like it in terms of visibility outside though could be better but if you go into the display and if you go into brightness level you can actually um, have a sunlight mode so when auto brightness is off, you can have adjust brightness to the strong ambient light when automatic brightness is off. And that's how you get round when you're outdoors and you need to see the phone in the bright sunlight. It does have a solution for you. You have the refresh rates, 120 hertz refresh rate. You can adjust the text size. I mean, it has so many options. This is dual SIM but I've got one SIM and a micro SD card in there. You've got your hotspot, lock screen display, sounds and vibrations. So one thing that you may not have noticed yet because I haven't shown you is that there is a headphone jack here and it's at the bottom, which is good. Now that means that when you have the headphone jack, go into sounds and you can go into sound effects and presets so you've got smart music video so if you go into music you can change that go into smart but it has an equalizer and you can you can set up your custom eq which i have i mean it's just so so nice and you notice i've taken the on-screen buttons and I've, i can swipe the gestures <laughs> headphone remote buttons you can adjust what that does there are so many things on here. You've got sound op optimization if you're using one of their own branded headphones. Just the list goes on and on and on. This also out of the box has the very latest um, MI UI 12, which I absolutely love. It's really neat, it's really tidy. This is 64 gig, they do do 128, but again, if you don't need dual SIM, then you could do 64 plus a micro SD card, and that is what I have done. Has, say, tons of customization themes, uh, battery and performance, and you can have here, you can actually have a battery saver mode, ultra battery saver, 
you can look at your scheduled power on and off as well there's just tons of different things you've got full screen to say button shortcuts so you can actually have things that launch um, google assistance and you can say uh, long press the home button long press the menu button you can have different options to launch some of these different things or open split screen um, absolutely very very simple quick ways of actually alternating things this does have a notification led it's up here it's tiny it's really small but you know these are things that used to be on flagship phones they've taken away you've got your headphone jack you've got your led light you actually have stereo speakers and i'll do a quick sound of those as well and you can also if you do get water you can, or blocked with dust you can actually have an option to play a 30 second piece of audio to clear the speaker grills just i mean this thing is just amazing and you know got special features game turbo for um here let's just go into the settings of this so here you can uh in game shortcuts home page orientation home shortcut performance mode performance optimization this but this thing is fast as well and you have individual settings for your different games it's just everything there you've got video toolbox if you open that up um, and you can do stuff with that floating windows second space it's got a lot of things let me just go and find some music for you this is some youtube royalty free let's just play this what i'll do is i'll move it round the mic the speakers are absolutely excellent and they're stereo speakers so really really good um that works exceptionally well so the other aspect that you're going to be asking me about is the camera oh, i mean I mean also you have an app drawer by default you can't turn it off and it automatically puts it into think that it files your apps for you you can change some of that as well but you can't turn off the app drawer as far as I'm aware unless you use a different third-party launcher but to be honest the included one is nice it's it's very simple um, there were a few games added and stuff like that and a few apps but you just uninstall them or you hide them in a folder but again nothing all my apps work fine i don't have any issue whatsoever at all uh, it's just a really nice experience so let me just show you some photos that are here as well So talking about uh, the cameras on the back, um, again, you've got some decent cameras on the back. You've, you know, you've got your 64 megapixel main sensor, 13 megapixel ultra wide, uh, two megapixel ma macro and a two megapixel depth. But the main thing t to realize is that whilst the two megapixel ones are a bit rubbish in terms of macro it doesn't matter the main cameras are good so it does pixel binning it's obviously not going to be as good as a true iphone 11 pro or the samsung galaxy note 20 ultra it doesn't have five times optical zoom two times is fine but for normal shots, day-to-day -day shots, they are pretty good. Sometimes the dynamic range isn't there, but with a few edits, you can get them looking pretty stellar. But the main thing is, you get fast charger, you get a battery that lasts forever, you get stereo speakers, you get this really lovely 120 hertz screen. I haven't even covered off some of the good bits yet, but I have, but you get the fingerprint sensor, if I put this around. And there's more after the camera so the next thing is you do have the um, fingerprint sensor 
which works really well. Just turn it off, put it on, fingerprint sensor. It's beautiful, really nice side fingerprint sensor. And I really do like that. I like the case and again, they cover the, the flap here, which is really handy. But other things on this that, you know, on the top, there's actually an IR blaster. So if I go to devices, media, me rope, um, living room TV, you've got all your controls that you need for the living room TV, and you can actually bring up more options for that as well. So that is really handy and just, just about, you know, this has got headphone jack, it's got an infrared remote control. Does it have something else on there that has been taken off many phones? Yes. There's one more thing I want to show you, and that is the FM radio. You do need to plug some headphones in, but we shall do that. But if we now open up the FM radio, it's fine. And then what you can do, you can do, um, you can record as well. And there is the ability to scan. So we'll just allow it to quickly scan and it will show me this working. Let me just turn the volume down and don't get caught for any copyright. We'll just cancel that. So literally you've now got um, here and it will bring up and you can name that station phone. I've got to say the headphone jack is actually really good. Not just, you know, there for the sake of it. I was powering my Sennheiser HD 599s, no problem. And I got some nice IM sound excellent through this. It's a really good headphone. It's got a fantastic processor in here as well. That means this works well, smooth, 120 hertz screen, fast touch rate, touch rate of 240 hertz. Nice, good case that covers the right things. Headphone jack, fingerprint sensor, IR blaster, good cameras. Again, not the best out there, but they are good. Don't let them fool you, that's good. And also something else on these camera modes is the actual modes. So you've got a pro mode, you've got video mode, and then here you can do 4K, here 30, no problem at all. So you've got 4K 30, you've got trap moving, you've got macro, you've got movie frame, ultra wide two times so anything over two times you can take it further you wouldn't want to go more than two times on this you can manually go up to 10 it's a it's a digital mess just keep it either one or two times you've got a portrait mode night mode clone mode long exposure so long exposure, it's got moving crowd, neon trails, old painting, light painting, starry sky, star trails, you've got slow motion, you've got more up here, you've got the 64 megapixel photo mode, again, I wouldn't use that, vlogging video mode, time lapse, front and back, um, and you can move around, which is what you want down here as well. All in all, this is really good. But the nice thing is if we go to um, here and you go to edit you've got uh, filters you can change the skies um, let's just do that let's just find one with a sky in it let me just show you how that works here we go so here we go edit we do uh, sky and here you can actually change the sky so let's, let's look at evening so just by tapping and it's just downloading because I haven't downloaded this filter yet. You've got a different filter there. If we go to night, let's just have a look. Some of the options, let's put this one on. And again, it's just downloading it. And now we have a completely different image. Let's do Milky Way. And if I, if I save that and save. And you could adjust the, the amount of the effects. But now we have a really incredible looking shot. I might tweak that on Twitter, but that's just one of the editing options. Let's just go back into a photo again. So you've got, you can beautify it. You can put stickers, doodle, watermarks. You can do some final adjustments, frames, mosaic. That's just, sim that's on simple stuff like um, a photo. If we then, if we just quickly go into the camera and we'll go to video 
and we'll just record a few seconds clip here. So I've just done that. We'll now bring that up. Mouse for that second. Let's go to that clip. You can edit that clip, and here you can add templates. So you can do, and it adds different effects. You've got filters, captions, you can add music or your own music. You can change the aspect ratio. So you can do nine to six. So if you're using all sorts of different uh, aspect ratios are possible. So there you have it. This foam is nothing short of a miracle. Seriously, it's not just a cheap phone. It's actually a really good phone. The attention to detail is excellent. <sighs> really, why do you want to spend any more money? Anyway, this is Gavin from Gavin's Gadgets. Catch you guys soon. Bye for now.